Sometimes stage zero life science is helping reduce the incidence of late stage cancer through early intervention. We all know that kind of 40% of cancer cases that are attributed to modified risk factors that they could be prevented. And you guys are trying to help do that. Do you want to expand on this a little bit for us? Sure. First thing is you've got to sort out what you mean by early. Um, there are two ways of, of defining early. One is finding it earlier than you otherwise would, but that could mean a late stage cancer. The other is finding early stage cancer. Ideally, I mean, you want to do both, but ideally you want to find early stage cancer, to find a stage one or stage two. Um, that's where your survival benefits are best. That's where your costs are lowest. So we run, we run two strategies on that. One, Aristotle. And Aristotle is single blood test, multiple cancers. Um, they're all of the most common cancers as we look at them that have standard of care. We've got a particular bias towards female cancers, which is a very nice panel on that. But that would tell you whether you have cancer today, yes or no. Um, essentially that. Whether I, let me use my words carefully. Whether you likely have cancer today, yes or no. You've obviously got to be fully worked up. Um, the second approach we have is the AVRT panel, the VERT panel. That's the metabolic pathway panel. And that would indicate whether the metabolic pathways that underlie a lot of the development of cancer um, would flag um, red or amber. If those do, um, that's the very early warning side. That's where we can begin to introduce um, amelioration, um, you know, risk modification programs. And that's where you begin to have that effect on that 40% of cancers that are essentially, uh, at least we look at it, preventable.